remember being very young and the Captains and the Kings being in my parents' um, bookshelf and my mother saying, you have to read this book, and for years, and I suppose it was almost a kind of a youthful rebellion thing where I said no, because I was being told to read it, I wouldn't read it. But when I did, I went, oh, this is how it's done. I've encountered several school children recently uh, who, had, who had been reading How Many Miles to Babylon and uh, were a little bit giddy when I told them that I knew her. You know, so she's a little bit of a superstar out there. She wrote a letter to my publisher in Double Day praising my book, and when I got the email from Owen, I, I just couldn't believe my eyes. Everyone talks about the fact that she came to writing late in life. Now, I know that's not true. She would go in there very early on, because when I was just in primary school, very young, she wrote a play for me to star in. I, I, I think I had to be a you know, rather important rabbit in it. She started when her children were, as were very much growing up, and uh, she planned her life so that she would, uh, you know, clean the house very early in the morning and then start writing when the children had gone to school. I think the first book I read by Jennifer would have been, like many, many other people, How Many Miles to Babylon. Well, I thought it was a wonderful book, and I was left wondering how, you could, how, how a, a, a book about such a big subject could be so short. She compresses what she's trying to say into a very telling, readable storyline. She has such a kind of um, a pared back, elegant style that, that really kind of makes the story so gripping and is told in such a beautiful way. A page in a Jennifer Johnson book does more than the words that are on the page. There are silences on the page, there are things that are unsaid on the page, and it's all really, really well crafted. If she'd just written The Captains and the Kings, I think she'd have a place among the greats, but she went on to write a lifetime of novels. I've just finished Shadow Story, and it was as powerful as her first books. Well-written work will endure, and uh, Jennifer's work is extremely well-written. She's damn good. I, I, I say that, and I have no doubt about that. I have been one of her fans from very early on, uh, and, and she's not, never disappointed me. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Bob Hughes Lifetime Achievement Award, one of the finest Irish writers of her time, Jennifer Johnston. Uh, I, I really am not a speech maker, but there is one thing that I would like to say and I hope that everybody in this room will agree with me. It's not about books at all. It is justice for Savita.